Well, five months after it took power at the center, Narendra Modi and his government have expanded that cabinet by nearly a half. 21 ministers were sworn in today, four of them of cabinet minister rank and the rest ministers of state. Of these, three have been given independent charge, while 14 are junior ministers. Of Shiv Sena, Rajya Sabha MP Anil Desai was to take oath as well, but pulled out at the last moment because of worsening relations between the Shiv Sena and the BJP. The first ones to be called to take oath, the ones given a cabinet berth, were former Goa Chief Minister Manohar Parikar, newly minted BJP leader Suresh Prabhu, Sung strongman JP Nadda and Haryana Jat leader Chaudhary Birendra Singh, a new entrant into the BJP. Responsibility is the whole country, so obviously it is also a structure. What happened in the chai, it was everyone general briefing. था. वो मतलब वहाँ कैसा प्रोसीजर रहता है ऐसा ही छोटा सा जी मंत्रालय ज्यादा करके वो इनफॉर्मल मिलने का तरीका था मंत्रालय के बारे में उसमें कुछ नहीं था प्रायोरिटीज के बारे में कुछ नहीं था ऐसा है कि आदरणीय नरेंद्र मोदी जी हमारे प्रधानमंत्री जी ने मेरे ऊपर विश्वास व्यक्त किया है उस विश्वास पर सही उतरू ईमानदारी से कार्य करके जो काम हमको दिया जाता है उसको मैं बखूबी निभाऊँ ये ईश्वर से प्रार्थना करता हूँ और यही मेरी प्रायोरिटी रहेगी कि दिए हुए कार्य को अच्छे ढंग से देखिए एक नई दिशा उन्होंने राजनीति को दी है काम करने की शैली को दी है और उससे मैं प्रभावित नहीं देश का युवा वर्ग भी उससे बहुत प्रभावित है कि कुछ नया होएगा देश में और नया होगा तो वो युवाओं के भविष्य के लिए अच्छा ही होगा well, it's breaking point. The Sunday shuffle is complete. Now the details of precisely what the portfolio allocation is continues to be in the realm of speculation. While it is virtually certain that Manohar Parikar will be India's next defense minister, there are other voices suggesting that Suresh Prabhu, the newly minted leader of the BJP, member of the BJP rather, will be the country's next railways minister. But the real story, the dramatic aspect of the political story today is playing out not in Delhi but in Mumbai at this time. Anil Desai of the Shiv Sena who refused to come out from the Delhi airport to attend the swearing-in ceremony as a result of worsening relations between the Shiv Sena and the BJP has arrived back in Mumbai today. Kamlesh Sutar, my correspondent, is with me live from Mumbai where any moment now we we're expecting to get more clarity on what the Shiv Sena's next step is. Kamlesh, what are you hearing? Uh, well, yes, uh, Shiv, uh, sometime from now, Uddhav Thakre is likely to reach out along with uh, uh, Shiv Sena leader Anil Desai, who will be reaching at the airport and will be accorded a grand welcome by uh, Shiv Sainik at the airport. And once he arrives, Uddhav Thakre too will be arriving here for the meeting. All top Shiv Sena leaders uh, and uh, newly elected uh, legislators and uh, legislators from the council have gathered here. A decision is likely to be uh, taken here. There are strong voices within the Sena about not going with the BJP, not having any with the BJP and not supporting the BJP government either but there are also voices which suggest uh, who have been suggesting that uh, in case uh, the Shiv Sena decides to go against the government that the party uh, could see a uh, split and uh, that is why the yes. leadership of the party uh, is uh, not uh, thinking in that direction and still giving some time uh, to the BJP uh, whatever happened today uh, was uh, part of the uh, tactics but we are waiting uh, any time from now the Thakre will arrive the meeting will start and perhaps we'll have more clarity on what Shiv Sena's stand is going to be also, Brijesh, uh, Brijesh Pandey, my colleague who's with me, he's live uh, from the BJP headquarters in the national capital. Brijesh, the BJP clearly in a position of power as far as what's going on, the interplay between itself and the Shiv Sena right now, that last bond in Anand Gite, you know, uh, you know, about to snap at any moment right now. But for the BJP, they don't need to really do anything. They've played their hand. They need to just wait and watch what happens now. Well, Shiv, I was just talking to a senior BJP leader about this uh, imbroglio with uh, Shiv Sena. And, you know, he, they said that, you know, the Shiv Sena has been, uh, has been ex completely rigid in this stance uh, si si from the word go. Yes. You know, had if they would have accepted the BJP offer of 147 seats, he said that chances of uh, a Shiv Sena chief minister in Maharashtra was much more higher than a BJP chief minister. I mean, they broke the alliance, the 25-year-old alliance over, uh, uh, over three seats and yes. say, look at the fact, look at uh, what happened 
happened after that? I mean, the BJP is now uh, has romped home with 123 seats. And he said that, you know, even after that, you know, if they would have tried to kind of, you know, patch up with the BJP, there has been no effort from the Shiv Sena. And, and, and whatever they, we are hearing from Udhav Thakre, they are saying is as if, you know, he is holding BJP to one ultimatum to another. And he said, this is not how politics is done. Yes. And if the, if the Shiv Sena uh, chief had any grouse, he could have spoken to Amit Shah about it. But, you know, I think there's a, a, a going with the history of Shiv Sena. I mean, it's very hard for Udhav Thakre, I think, to digest the fact that uh, what was the younger brother, the party which kind of piggyback on uh, road on the piggyback of uh, Shiv Sena is now the playing the role of a big brother, has become the big brother. I think for the Shiv Sena, it is ex becoming extremely hard to understand the fact that tables have turned completely and, and it is now the BJP which is now playing the role of a big brother rather than the Shiv Sena. And, and I think the Shiv Sena is, is finding it extremely difficult to make that transition. And this is the reason why they are in the position that they are right now. Shiv. Well, the, the position of power has completely shifted and for some reason it's taking the Shiv Sena so long to realize precisely how things are stacked up against it. For the BJP, it's still a mind game, but they've played their hand and perhaps the onus is now completely on the Shiv Sena. Brijesh and Kamlesh, thanks for joining us. For the moment, I'll keep coming back to you because this is a story that's developing literally minute by minute. And as Kamlesh just pointed out, just moments from now, there will be...